Hey guys, so new channel and the first thing I'm going to do here is make a series on making a Minecraft mod using Minecraft 1.6.2, the latest release at the time of this video. Um, this is going to be a weekly tutorial, so I'm going to upload the parts of the tutorial on Mondays. This video is a little bit different because it's just an introduction and a setup video. Uh, but the main parts of the tutorial will be uploaded each Monday, or as close to that depending on the upload speed of my connection and what happens with that. Um, I'm going to be basing this tutorial uh, on the fact that that you might know a little bit of Java programming. Uh, if you don't, that's fine, you can probably just follow along with it, but I'm not going to be explaining all of the, the basics that go behind it. It's going to be more um, to do with actually making the mod, rather than what what all the syntax means uh, in just general Java form. Uh, so I guess we better get started then. So you're going to need to download some stuff. Um, maybe. First you're going to have to download the Java development kit. Uh, I suggest Java development kit from the seventh version of Java. It's the latest version and the recommended version. It will mean that people using your mod will have to run Java 7, but seeing as it is the recommended version, there shouldn't be much problem with that. So you want to download the JDK there. You want to download Minecraft Forge from this website. Uh, I'm going to put all the links in the description, so don't worry about remembering all these. Um, the latest version is the, the one ending in point seven eight nine, and that's the one I'm using at the moment, and it, it seems to work okay, so there shouldn't be any problem using the latest version or the latest version at the time of the recording. And the only other thing you're going to have to download is Eclipse. Uh, you're feel free to use any other uh, environment you like. If you have a, a preferred one then, then feel free. Uh, I just use Eclipse because I've been using it for years and it's it's easier for me to use so that's, it's feel free to just you know NetBeans or, or anything like that. Um, so after you've downloaded all of those, uh, I might I might also add that you want to you want to download the source here. Uh, that's that's the easiest thing to do uh, from the package. You want after that you want to set up your class path to compile your Java. Um, if you don't know how to do that, I'm going to put a, an annotation uh, on the video to take you to the video on my other channel that explains that in quite some detail on how to how to set that up. Um, so you can go there, feel free to go and watch that if if you need to. To check that that's working just before we start, you need to go to your command prompt and type in Java C, this here, so I'll, I'll just do it again. And it brings up this option menu, that just tells you it's working. Okay, so the only thing, that the, the, the second last thing we've got to do now is just to install the forge, so I've put it in a, a folder just on the desktop here inside another folder. Uh, that's what you should get when you extract the zip file that you download. You want to go into this and you'll see an install command command file, uh, command script. You want to run that if you're on Windows. If you're on Mac or Linux, you want to run the .sh file. So I'm going to run this and it'll just pop up in a little command window. This will take quite a while. Um, the old Forge versions, I believe, used to, to come standalone without the MCP, the Minecraft Coda Pack, installed with it. Uh, the newer versions seem to to have that with it, so it's it's much easier to set up now um, than it used to be. Uh, but this will take quite a while, so I'll just speed up the video and we will return when this is done. And we're back, finally, uh, it has finished decompiling the Minecraft source. Um, that will take a long time, a very long time, uh, depending on really, I think, how your computer is feeling. Um, so now that you've got that set up, the only other thing we've got to do is open it in Eclipse so that we can start creating the Minecraft mod next time, so we just need to close that. So now you'll see that inside this Forge folder you've now, inside the MCP, there's an Eclipse folder. 
this is going to be our working uh, directory for the mod so you want to open your Eclipse wherever you put it and then this little uh, box will come that has a workspace now you want to go and pick that out so mine's on the desktop and um, where did I save that now I'm going to forget Minecraft tutorials there we are Minecraft tutorials and then you want to go into MCP and click on Eclipse so it should say Eclipse down here in the folder and click OK so there's my path for my Eclipse build so you just want to let that go this is going to look a little bit different on my screen than it will look on yours because I've got a different version of Eclipse running um, but don't be alarmed it's all the same ok so now that you've got this open it will continue to build the workspace start opening some random random stuff so then we've got a project in this editor called Minecraft and inside this source folder contains all of the different things that you're going to need and use eventually um, all the code for Minecraft uh, and now we're ready to make a mod so I will upload the first part of the tutorial on Monday um, we're going to be creating the base mod class that is the base for your mod and it's where all of the all of the things get loaded and we're going to go and create our first block uh, so I hope that anybody watching this has no problem setting this up feel free to, to comment um, on the video if you are having problems I uh, hope this was helpful um, if you like the video please you know give it a rating and subscribe to see more uh, I'm also on Twitter and Facebook I'll post the links um, at the bottom of the video um, and also on the on the splash screen at the end of the video um, and check out the the gear website at geargame.co.uk which we're currently building for the the gear clan um, but I think that's it so I'll see you next time hopefully for some more well let's just start our minecraft mod I'll see you next time <laughs>